Ever wondered how Netflix recommends movies or how Amazon suggests items you might like? Welcome to the magical world of machine learning, a realm where computers learn from your choices and in return, make decisions that cater to your preferences. This magic is the cornerstone of recommendation systems that you encounter daily on platforms like Netflix, Amazon, or Spotify. Now how do these systems know what you might like? The answer lies in machine learning, a branch of artificial intelligence that equips computers with the ability to learn from data. It's like training a puppy, you show it what to do, and with time, it learns and starts acting without needing your guidance. In the case of Netflix or Amazon, the data comes from your behavior on their platforms. Every movie you watch, every product you browse, and every item you purchase is a piece of information feeding into their machine learning algorithms. These algorithms then analyze patterns in your behavior, compare them with those of other users, and voila! You get personalized recommendations. Imagine you've been watching a lot of sci-fi movies on Netflix. The platform's algorithms will notice this pattern and start recommending more sci-fi films. Similarly, if you've been browsing a lot of gardening tools on Amazon, it might start suggesting related items like seeds or gardening books. But it's not just about patterns. Machine learning algorithms also consider the feedback they receive. If you've ever rated a movie on Netflix or left a product review on Amazon, you've contributed to training these algorithms. Your feedback helps them understand better what you liked or disliked and refine their future recommendations. This process is ongoing. Every click, every like, every purchase is a new lesson for these algorithms, making them smarter and more accurate in predicting your preferences. So, essentially, every time you click, like, or purchase, you're teaching these machines a little bit about yourself. So next time when you see a spot on recommendation, remember, it's the magic of machine learning at work. Now you might wonder, how does machine learning compare to human learning? Well, in many ways, these two processes are strikingly similar, yet fundamentally different. Consider how we, as humans, learn. We're born into this world with a blank slate, and as we grow, we absorb information from our surroundings. We learn to walk by tumbling and falling, to speak by mimicking sounds, to solve problems by making mistakes and finding solutions. Each experience, each interaction, and each mistake is a piece of data that our brains process and learn from. Now let's turn our attention to machines. Machine learning, at its core, operates on a similar principle. It is the practice of using algorithms to parse data, learn from it, and then make decisions or predictions. Just like a child learning to walk, a machine learning algorithm starts with a blank slate. It analyzes large amounts of data, identifies patterns, and adjusts its own programming based on what it learns. But while human learning is driven by our biological brains, machine learning is powered by artificial intelligence. And while we learn from our individual experiences, machine learning algorithms can process and learn from vast amounts of data in a fraction of the time it would take a human. For instance, imagine a machine learning algorithm designed to recommend books. It starts with no knowledge, but as it processes data about book genres, author styles, and reader preferences, it learns. It identifies patterns such as fans of mystery novels often also enjoy thrillers. With each piece of data, it refines its recommendations, much like how we refine our knowledge and skills through experience. But here's a crucial distinction. While human learning is a complex process influenced by emotions, cultural context, and personal bias, machine learning is purely data-driven. It's objective, devoid of emotions, and operates solely on the patterns it discerns in the data it processes. Just like us, machines learn from experience. The more data they process, the better they get. But remember, while machines may excel in processing data and identifying patterns, they don't possess the human touch. Our ability to understand and empathize, our capacity for creativity and innovation. And that, dear listeners, is what makes us uniquely human. There are a few basic concepts that form the backbone of machine learning. To understand machine learning, let's picture it like cooking. When we cook, we follow a recipe, use ingredients, and taste tests to see if the dish is good. Similarly, in machine learning, we have algorithms, data sets, and processes of training and testing. Algorithms are the recipes of machine learning. They're sets of instructions that guide computers to perform specific tasks. Just as a recipe tells you what to do step by step, an algorithm directs the computer on how to solve a problem or make a prediction, but how do we know what problem to solve or what to predict? That's where datasets come in. Think of datasets as the ingredients for our machine learning recipe. 
These sets can include a wide range of information, from customer behavior to weather patterns, and are used by the algorithm to learn and make predictions. Now imagine you're trying a new recipe. You wouldn't want to serve it to guests without tasting it first, right? That's where training and testing come into play in machine learning. Training is the process where the algorithm learns from the data set. It's like tasting the dish while you're cooking, adjusting the seasoning, adding a little bit of this and that to get the taste just right. Once the algorithm is trained and the model is ready, we need to test it. Testing is like serving a small portion of your dish to a trusted friend before the guests arrive. It's a way to check if your machine learning model is predicting accurately based on new data it hasn't seen before. Just as a great chef uses their knowledge and experience to perfect a recipe, a machine learning model uses algorithms, data sets, training and testing to improve its ability to make predictions. With the right algorithm and a comprehensive data set, a machine can learn to make astonishingly accurate predictions. This is the essence of machine learning, and it's what makes this field so fascinating and impactful in our world today. Did you know there are different types of machine learning? Indeed, the world of machine learning is not a monolith. It's divided into three primary types, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning, each with its unique approach and application. Let's start with supervised learning. Imagine you're trying to teach a machine to recognize pictures of dogs. You'd provide it with a collection of images, some of dogs and some not, each clearly labeled. The machine then learns from these labeled examples. Over time, it can identify new unlabeled images as either dog or not a dog. This is supervised learning in action. It's perfect for tasks like spam detection or credit scoring, where we have historical data to guide the learning process. Next, we have unsupervised learning. Here, the machine is given unlabeled data and asked to find patterns or structures within it. It's like handing someone a jigsaw puzzle without the box cover. They must figure out what the completed image looks like based on the pieces themselves. Unsupervised learning is often used for things like customer segmentation or anomaly detection, where we don't necessarily know what we're looking for in advance. Finally, let's talk about reinforcement learning. This is where a machine learns by doing, receiving rewards or punishments for its actions. Think of it as training a dog. If it behaves well, it gets a treat. If it misbehaves, it gets a reprimand. Over time, the machine learns to maximize rewards and minimize punishments. This type of machine learning is often used in places like game playing or robotics, where the machine must interact with an environment and learn from its experiences. From organizing data to playing video games, these types of machine learning have a wide range of applications. Each offers a different approach to learning, providing us with an array of tools to solve complex problems. As we delve deeper into this exciting world, we'll uncover even more about the potential and power of machine learning. Machine learning is more than just a cool concept. It's changing the world as we know it. The impact of machine learning is profound, and its reach is vast. It's transforming industries, reshaping economies, and redefining how we live our lives. Let's take a look at some of the areas where machine learning is making huge strides. In healthcare, machine learning algorithms are helping doctors diagnose diseases with impressive accuracy. They're analyzing medical images, identifying patterns that the human eye might miss, and predicting patient outcomes based on a wealth of data. The result? Faster, more accurate diagnoses and personalized treatment plans. The finance sector, too, is reaping the benefits of machine learning. From predicting stock market trends to detecting fraudulent transactions, machine learning is at the forefront of financial innovation. It's helping businesses make informed decisions, manage risks, and stay ahead of the curve. And let's not forget about transportation. Machine learning is the driving force behind self-driving cars. By processing vast amounts of data in real time, these cars can navigate complex road networks, react to unexpected situations, and get us from point A to point B safely and efficiently. But machine learning isn't just about big industries. It's about everyday convenience, too. It's the reason why your email spam filter works so well. It's why your online shopping experience is so personalized. It's even why your smartphone camera takes such great photos. The beauty of machine learning is that it's a tool, a powerful one, that we can use to solve complex problems and make our lives easier. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. And it's just getting started. So the next time you get a movie recommendation or a targeted ad, remember, there's a whole world of machine learning behind it. Until next time, stay curious.